hello guys welcome back to the channel my name is Ayman and in today's video we're gonna talk about iPhone 8 plus has uh, Wi-Fi not working this device is the same uh, device I fixed in this video the customer came back to me with uh, Wi-Fi not working I couldn't check before the Wi-Fi was working or not because the device has a password and it came to me from another shop so I give it back to the shop and the shop he give it to the customer then the customer discovered that the Wi-Fi is not working of course this is totally different issue the two caps I removed was in parallel they are not related to Wi-Fi not working if those caps was in series I may say that because I removed those caps the Wi-Fi stopped working. I guess that because the phone fall down from its owner that led to a short in that cap which made uh, the cap on the VDD main which made the device not able to switch on and because of the drop also maybe some beds under the Wi-Fi chip has been left off uh from its place or the chip itself has been left off uh and uh this connection happened between the chip the wi-fi chip and its beds so let's go and check the voltages the power supplies for the wi-fi chip the power supply for wi-fi chips most of the time vdd main or vcc main and 1.8 and if we go to the uh, zxw we can know where exactly to check those power supplies the inputs of the wi-fi chip you may notice that i just released a few days ago a video for iphone 7 wi-fi chip and you may wonder why i'm doing this video for the same kind of chip uh, the iPhone 7 Wi-Fi chip is more easy than the one in the iPhone 8 and when I when I hit record I don't know if I will just reboil the chip or I will find a disaster under it or maybe I have to remove the NAND as well to change the Wi-Fi chip so I'm recording this video because I want to let you see how to do the repair maybe you can learn something you may see here the two caps I removed I connect the power supply to the uh, logic board and then we turn the phone on and now it's on and let's check the power supplies here in this points we can check the PP1 V8 then here we can check the VDD main let's check vdd main it's here 4.3 and pp1 v8 is a bit challenging uh, the phone switched off now it's on i turn it back slowly then here under there is one capacitor and you can see 1.8 and also if you go to the menu uh, and you check about you will see that bluetooth is working only Wi-Fi is not working which means there is a power supply to the chip itself okay we gonna remove the chip you have to take care from this chip and this chips also And we have components here also very uh, close to the chip. Slowly but surely. 
I use this side because it's the easiest one to begin with. Here I need another tool because the area is very narrow, the area is very tight and small and very easy you can scratch those chips and destroy them. I even need one more, more thin than that. Yes, that's enough. Now let's remove the chip. Here we go. Nothing is left off. Maybe need only rebowling. Then I clean the rest of the underfill. I can clean here as well. When I'm cleaning like this, I'm checking if the beds are in place or there is something moving. If have anything moving, better to show himself now. So I make a jumper and not waste time reboiling then installing the chip then removing again the This bolt is normal, that's because the underfill is holding the components from everywhere and the solder is uh, getting melted and become thin like liquid and he don't have any place anywhere to go so he go out of the underfill as bolts as this you can take this as a, as what what is the word I want to say as a guide to show you that the temperature is rising and you are entering 
uh, dangerous uh, temperature the board has reached to a dangerous temperature and your chip is will be ready to left off soon so you can take it as a guide for you to when to remove the chip or maybe it will show you that you have spent long time heating the board and now you uh, your phone maybe died because of the excess temperature but you can see here that the small components only got those balls that's because their thermal mass is very small but if you look at this capacitor still nothing because it has a high thermal mass same like the chip the chip have ha high thermal mass uh, mass and if you got ball from one side that's the positive side because the positive has lower thermal uh, mass than the negative than the ground so if you have from both both uh, sides most of the time you are screwed aha uh -huh. i have here one uh pad is lifted off lifted off sometime when i i hear my uh sound on my videos sometimes the microphone is not picking the word as it should be that's why uh sometime i repeat and i i make uh my word like hard so when you hear it you can understand what i mean okay that's good very important thing if you're not yet subscribed please give me a like and subscribe now i will bring the same uh stencil the one i told you about before in the iphone 7 video i will leave a link for it below along with all the tools i'm using because people keep asking me what kind of microscope what kind of uh, soldering iron what kind of this tool i have all the links for all the tools from amazon and aliexpress down below the video in the description box this stencil is amazing because it has all the uh, iPhone and iPad chi uh, Wi-Fi chips. That's why I'm mentioning it, uh, mentioning it here. Because before I had hard time to find stencil for different iPad Wi-Fi chips, and I found this one and it's good quality and it has all the chips you will need for uh, iPhone all chips for Wi-Fi all Wi-Fi chips for iPhone and iPad Perfect.
first I will install the chip and see if it will work or no. If it doesn't, I will remove it again and start taking measure for resistance, for impedance under the chip to find out what is the issue. If the impedance is uh, correct, I will change the chip with the uh, I uh, I uh, I what with the un uh, Wi-Fi unlocking by lifting the NAND chip and connect it to the programmer, then unlocking Wi-Fi, then install a new chip or use. We are fine and now we test it. Okay, the battery is loose. I have to hold it. It's not turning on. Ah, oh, it's turning on. I thought it's dead. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You, you cannot see, you cannot see. Ah. Come on. Yeah, working. Let me put the password. And the Wi-Fi... Whoa! Wi-Fi is working! So, my theory was correct. Because of that drop, the Wi-Fi chip is lifted from its place and uh, the, the beds got disconnected because a cold solder joint or a broken uh, joint uh, so we just rebold it and it's working fine and it's connected to all the Wi-Fi and here Golden Dragon my shop is Connecting I hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed it Please give me a like leave me a comment about what you think about what I'm doing here and what you want to see next Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of my coming videos My work here is done and I will see you next one. Bye.